Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today I am driving into the mountains in hope that there is massive snow. But um, at the drive here to this point I see that yeah, the sun is working. It is not so much snow like I thought because I want to build a snow cave. But uh, maybe it is not possible and I must um, have another plan where I sleep. We will see. I want to start with you and have a great day and great overnighter here in this beautiful mountain area and if you want you can come with me. Water, snow and ice is such a beautiful combination. I love frozen waterfalls. Of course this one isn't complete frozen, but uh, the sculptures look so beautiful because everyone is different and that looks so nice. And when the creek goes down, um, it looks like a painting, so beautiful. It would be nice to uh, camp here directly to the waterfall, but it is a little bit cold and windy there, so I think it isn't a good idea. But maybe here in the uh, close area around of the waterfall, we will see. There are two caves here directly behind the waterfall. Nice! What a massive ice wall there! Beautiful, isn't it? Wow!
I am now here in an area where I think that the risk of avalanches is not so high and I have a avalanche um, tube with me and yeah I will walk now around and check out how deep the snow is and where is the place where the, sneep is, uh, the, the snow is uh, very deep. Looks like I am here in the area of a fox. The snow is here at the deepest point, 1 meter and 25 centimeter high. So not so high like I thought, but enough to build something. Not on snow cave, but uh, maybe on snow hole. It is suddenly very windy. I hope it will be better soon because when I build something and um, yeah when I have a wet body or after this in combination with this wind this would be good for a long time. I want to make my camp here behind me and now I lay the top on the ground so I can see um, how how big the, the cave, um, not the cave, the hole must be and yeah then I just start to carve with the snow shovel.
Today I have a reflector top with me. You see it here. I had here on silver side and this makes that the um, body um, worm will be into my um, hole tonight and not outside. This is the maximum space that I have with my top, but of course I don't um, make my snow hole exactly big like this because I want to make my top a little bit higher and um, the more space I had here in my snow hole, um, the more space I must heat and yeah, better less than more. I had to remove my jacket now that um, my body don't sweat because when the work is finished and uh, the body rests and the body is wet this is very counterproductive because then the body will be um, get cold very very fast.
The first step is done. The sleeping area is ready. It is a little bit longer than myself. And here in this point I have the cooking area. I cook inside of my construction so that the warm air that um, is there when I'm cooking stay here inside the sleeping area. Now I have to make the entrance because the entrance should always be deeper than your sleeping area that the cold air is at the entrance and not at your sleeping area. Exactly at this point where I am sitting is my cold spell. The cold air is always at the deepest point and that not my sleeping area is the deepest point. I've made this point here um, about 20 centimeter um, more down than my sleeping area. Ah, there is a little bit sun. I thought I've got no more sun today. Maybe it will be a little bit warmer then. The last step outside of the snow hole is fix the top. Yeah, I think I am ready. The last thing I have to do is make the entrance a little bit smaller because it is too big, there came too much air inside.
today I have just um, a small emergency bivouac bag with me. It is small like a rain cover and this comes directly on the ground and then inside the sleeping pad and the sleeping bag and that was it. When I am come inside the snow hole, um, I feel directly that it is here warmer than outside because of the gasoline cooker. And yeah, later after um, making food, I have to um, put off my shoes because I've got very wet socks. Um, I am going here around the camp without the snowshoes and so I've got snow directly inside of my shoe and then it is going down into uh, to my feet and it is really cold and wet and uncomfortable but I think I can dry it at the gasoline cooker. In the middle of a mountain, inside of a snow hole, I eat tonight shrimps. What a perfect meal. I know nobody who loves shrimps and fruits of the ocean like I do. When everyone around me smells the taste of um, uh, yeah, the smell of the uh, ocean fruits they run away so I have to do I have to eat it in the middle of the mountains what should I do In the night I make the gasoline cooker out because open fire is uh, too dangerous in the near of the sleeping bag and so I had here those gas lamp I've put it on here and then I uh, it stand here where the gasoline cooker was and it will burn the whole night and uh, here inside it will be much warmer if the gas lamp is on. I had also the DD uh, mini top with me. The entrance is uh, always a little bit too big 
and I want to make it a little bit smaller with this small top. Not complete because I need fresh air circulation because of the gas lamp. I had also an air um, hole here in the front that I have fresh air here inside but I will make it a little bit more closed with this one. I was just looking around at my GPS and I found that close to me there is a cave, three caves. This one I will check out tomorrow. Maybe I stand up a little bit early in the morning to see these caves, if it is possible. I don't know what kind of cave it is, so I have to be very careful. careful. Um, when it is uh, snow, it is more dangerous, but um, you can feel safe. When I see there any danger, I any danger, I wouldn't do this, so I stay safe. And when it isn't possible, then it is impossible, and I don't do it. <laughs> 